hello everybody. Um, welcome to the final day of the season in OFL. I have, of course, won my division, so the only thing that matters is not getting my players killed by this block, tackle, mighty ball piling on player. And that's about literally the only thing that matters. Um, got a bunch of players and with some skills. It would be nice to level Roto Spaff. <laughs> and uh, the others could get... I mean, these are all an MVP away, so he would like to get an MVP away. Well, both of these would like to get an MVP away. Maybe something else, but uh, mostly just... Hopefully do some completions. He's got 350 uh, <laughs> inducements. <laughs> and of course he takes two bribes. Of course he does. Ha ha ha! Dirty fucking Dino! <laughs> No, nope, he's changed it. He's changed it. He's realised that actually he doesn't want his players to die in a meaningless match either. <laughs> yeah, so well, I mean, what can you do? Hello, VIP Flicky Flap. Yeah, I mean, all you can do, like, you're going to take at least 16 blocks in a game, aren't you? Probably at least about 20 blocks in a game. All you can do is try and... Uh, Try and mitigate who who is making those blocks and who is taking those blocks. So in this case, the claw, not the claw, the tackle, mighty ball piling on character. We'll try to limit who he punches, and uh, and how much he gets to hit with him. And if he if he dices the fuck out of you with Randall blocks, then he dices the fuck out of you with Randall blocks. But every game you can minimise it as much as you can, can't you? Which is how I built the greatest team in Rebels history, probably. Um, and then one bad game of dice killed it. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Fucking Blood Bowl indeed. Right, so we've won the most important role, which is to kick. I quite like kicking with a team like this. Well, not a team like this, in this position like this, especially. Did he say what's a shit say? Something like a shit say. Oh. Let's put these characters all back here. On the line we've got a dodger and a wrestler. Oh, there's a there's a nothing. The nothing can go on against the wrestler because the wrestler is unprotected against his block tackle pommer. So, all right. Hello. <laughs> Fuck all, but to survive for you. But I can uh, call find a wild card if I win. Ooh. <laughs> 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 just a little, just a little brag. <laughs> oh, it's good being the king. <laughs> oh, you can go for the kills, yeah, you can go for the kills, yeah, that's true. That's true, you can just go for the kills, yeah. Why is your channel promoted? I've got no idea. People have said that before. I've got no idea what that means, Kid Channel. I certainly haven't promoted it myself. <laughs> Promotion is something I never do. I never do. <laughs> oh, calcium. Oh, yeah. Calcium, of course, better known as... <laughs> Famous Chacho horse, Graham Norton. <laughs> you'll be in the main event, Calcium. Well, not the main event. You'll be in the... the, the uh, you're in the pay-per-view in three hours' time. <laughs> you and McNaughton teaming up. Glorious. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> yes, Lean Gary, I have already qualified for the playoffs. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Carlson. I'd rather watch me than the Double Double E Network as well. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? I've, I've been enjoying this so much more than actual Double Double E programming. It's crazy. Oh, divine catch. Still got a list of people to make, like, so I should have to make them at some point. <laughs> it's a shame that he's got diamond tackle, isn't it? Otherwise, I could go for the ball and just fuck off. Hooah! I'm gonna move these uh, here so that I'm a little bit more in the corner. <laughs> pay off. It's certainly minimised the hits we've taken, hasn't it? Taking no damage on turn four, that's a brilliant win so far, thus far. Go this way, you dickhead. Go this way, don't fight me. <laughs> he did do a first and fumble, yeah. But it is a pretty good strategy, to be fair. Like, I mean, what Frankenstein did was bit, bit, tip, bit, tip. Ba, 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 ba. What Frankenstein did on fumble was stupid because he was like doing, filling dodges and stuff and getting sur surfed and all this kind of stuff. Um, it's just to not get claw pond. Whereas mine is just perfect strategy. Brilliantly executed. Genius. <laughs> Calcium does know all about collusion. <laughs> with that <laughs> with that ban that he's received for <laughs> catching cheaters. <laughs> Despicable behaviour really. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. I will not hesitate to foul his palmer if I get the opportunity. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Calcium. That's what I. That's what I believed. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will Glorious. defend. I will defend. Fuck. A full <laughs> undetected pregnancy of a seventeen-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'll have to I'll have to go back and see what that is because it sounds pretty funny. He hasn't got any frenzy, has he? I'll, uh, sorry, I can't. I've got a, I know it's a nothing game, but I want to protect my players. So, um Let me uh, let me do this for a moment before I get back to you.
can even re-roll a uh, fail here, right? Brilliant. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, just so they can't get sent off, yeah. Right, let me see. Twitch. Twitchy McTwitchersons. And create a dashboard. Getting there. I'll learn how to stream one day. Lucky Lucas. Three months at tier one. A full under... <laughs> Thank you very much, Lucky Lucas, for staying fantastic for three months. Nearly one whole beaver pregnancy. Glorious. Could reach him for a foul here. <laughs> he thinks better of it. He doesn't want to tangle. He doesn't want to tangle with the delves. <laughs> the industrial fisting machine. Bit like uh, Barbarella, isn't it? Have you seen Barbarella? <laughs> That's a bit like an industrial fisting machine in that. <laughs> Yep. Yes, Celine Gary. Yes, that is correct. Correct Amundo. Oh, le shit ballon. Oui, oui, oui. Mange too. And we shall fuck off over here. <laughs> Le blim plum fuck. So what you see here is of course the fabled uh, elf screen <laughs> where you completely elf screen behind enemy lines <laughs> to, to protect your players. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, great stuff. I have dodged though, so. Ah, well, didn't really care. <laughs> It'll make this will make it very difficult for him to get here. Um, if his goal is to get the ball over here, he is shit out of luck. <laughs> ah, dear me. Bezel Quasa. Oh, of course I'll try the one turn, yeah. Nearly got it last game as well. Uh, the other game, not last game, the game before. I just scored on turn 8 last game. Yeah, no, I haven't heard. I haven't heard Chinese snooker for a while. I don't know why. I don't know why it's called a Chinese snooker. Um, <laughs> but uh, I haven't heard it. Hello, Ghoul the Cat. Glorious. No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Took a break from the milking machine to play Blood Bowl, Jimmy. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, VIP Pranks Devange. No break from the milking machine. I'm just uh, struggling to concentrate as I <laughs> as I play this game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, he beat me when we played in the season as well, Gulduk. He actually beat me when we when we had a proper game. Um, so he could beat me again. You never know. I don't know how to play. Yeah, I mean the second half. <laughs> I don't know how to play the second half, so, um, you know, he's got a wizard. We'll see what happens. This isn't wrestling. Don't worry, the wrestling will be back soon. Soon enough. A thrilling half of Blood Bowl, this, isn't it, eh? I tell you what, you don't get much more tactical than this, do you, eh? What a fucking match. Fantastic. I'd love it if you filled a hand off a pass now and didn't score. It'd <laughs> be pretty funny. <laughs> I like quad scold. Yes, this is perfect for uh, throw teammates. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> when the guys have blitz will be replaced by better players, there's not even much point in taking the blitz with your quad sculling. <laughs> That's a good point, isn't it? Because it doesn't matter who he removes. For the second half, we'll have better players. <laughs> oh, oh, calcium. <laughs> What it though? Because you've got to be high, so it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, would hamper a short person. All right, okay, yeah. Right, I thought that what they would <laughs> a short person wouldn't be better. Yeah, okay, it's hard for everyone though, isn't it? They're fucking, they're a pain in the ass, Chinese snookers. But yeah, I guess it's not. If that's where it comes from, then yeah, that's uh, that's not going to be PC and and therefore never used again. <laughs> Which, in one way is fair, but in the other way it's just a word, isn't it? It's not racist or anything to call it a Chinese snooker, is it? Fast snooker, yeah. I mean, I've heard it. It's just a term now, isn't it? Like, at the end of the day, you don't mean anything by it when you're playing with your mates, do you? And you just go, oh shit, he's got me in a Chinese snooker. You just... Wouldn't, like, it's nothing, there's no connotation behind it or anything, is there? Yeah, the one turn could be good. No tackle. Or, oh, there is diving tackle. Oh, he has got he has got tackle or diving tackle. There's no tackle there. Then there's one through tackle. That's pro one through tackle is probably going to be better than through diving tackle, isn't it? A Bernie snooker. I could try and just block him forward without... Um, Blitzing, so he could one dice blitz his way through. Offset snooker. <laughs> oh, That's going to be threes with a reroll, then three with no reroll. So one dicing is like a three with a reroll, and that'll be a three, then a then a two. No, I don't know. It's probably no no odds. Right, let's just punch people. You're gonna pass it, Roto Spaff. You're gonna punch him to here and then to here where you. Tu sais quoi, Jim? Je sais chanter. Or will I just blitz him straight up? If I blitz him straight up, it's probably safer. Than hoping for a push, then another push. No, because then I can still blitz, right? I can still just blitz there. So. So I can block twice there, and if it doesn't work, run around and blitz here. Push him to there. 
and then get another one, and then a third one. Need him to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he could go around to there. And then three, four, five. Could do with two more and just to make it seven, three dice. Into a three dice, into there, then he whacks it to there, and then he whacks it off there. Whack lots of whacking off. N'es-tu pas nostalgique de la FAE, Bob? Pas des masses, Jim. Perfect defense will fuck me. No, the other side hasn't got no tackle. There's no. There's nowhere else. These are the diamond tackles. So this was the best place to go. Through here was the best way to go. Hundred percent. Now it's going to be a bit trickier with this perfect defence, isn't it? <laughs> oh, total cunts. Calcium. <laughs> no, of course they're not at all. In case anyone's... Thick as two short planks. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> like they do on Top Gear. Ne serait-ce pas un Lord Borak que je vois là-bas au premier rang? Mais c'est bien lui, Jim. Hey! Oh, perfect. Right as far as it could possibly be. So happy. So happy, Borak. Le soutien suffira-t-il à prendre le dessus? <laughs> right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, handoff. So I think that's the that's the one. Il a pris le ballon. Je suis censé dire quelque chose de marquant ou de spirituel. That's his level, glorious. Foo -foo -foo. Well done. Kind of need a push here. Forget a pow. Then she has to blitz him, so it's a pow is fine. <laughs> And now I need to push him twice, and then push him twice. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can't move him because he has to hit. So she pushes him to there, then to there. C'est le moment de vérité. Elle est déchaînée. comes around. Mm. So the bad thing is I'm going to do this way. I'm pretty sure this is the best way of doing it. Hey! 
Good defence, well done, Jim. Easy peasy. Hello, TLC. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Fucking elves. <laughs> well, I mean, Skaven. That was really a Skaven half, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty handy, Squirrel Dude. Pretty handy, aren't they? Movement 9 as well. Yeah, the GF... I mean, the, the initial block being a pal wasn't uh, wasn't great. Yeah, <laughs> Stan Firm would have, would have stopped it. Three Stan Firm. <laughs> if they were still around. But yeah, Movement 9 and Sidestep and Frenzy is all pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he won't make he won't make top forty of a rebel without taking stand firm. Human cheerleaders. Oh, sorry, Orelensis. I never think about the cheerleaders to be honest. VIP Orelensis. You're also in the pay per view later on, Orelensis. <laughs> I did twice opt after a perfect defence. <laughs> it was pretty good. Some good dice rolls. Um, so, thanks. I didn't grat him. <laughs> I forgot to say grat to him <laughs> when he did score, didn't he? Um, right, we can blitz him. Ah. Great TD. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then foul him. <laughs> I was just being, I was just trying to be polite. Because, I, you know, I just forgot to say grats to him when he scored, which I probably should have done. Even though I didn't try to stop it, I thought maybe I should have done. That's just literal, you know, that's just me trying to be nice. Didn't really work out. Never mind. <laughs> Bezel! Right, he's going to carry it. Bezel quasi. In fact, no, the 12 the guy is. Muppet. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, he might as well. I mean, you know, I'm still going to try to... Uh, I'm going to try to uh, win. It's just the defense. I mean, you can't not take it on offense, really, can you? So it's just the uh, defense that I had to play like that. I don't like that she's exposed. And it's not super easy to punch this guy to protect her. Go there, though. Okay. 
go there for the uh, leap. So we'll still have to dodge as well. Le blim blom blue! I was going to move someone to there, but then I thought, fuck it, I'll go for the pass. <laughs> so he does have leaps out. He's got three leaps to this square, in which so I probably should have put him to there to not give three leaps through the line. But I just decided, fuck it, vanity passing is more important than anything. <laughs> yeah, to spin, that's me. Jim Babe of the Tom Babe Station. <laughs> uh, this is the last match before the playoffs TLC. Ain't a proper tully without orc titties. That's a good shout. No TLC, no. I don't know if you saw the first half. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the first half, but it was uh, it was a bit of a joke despite the scoreline. <laughs> <laughs> Good, he hits the shitter. No offence, Bezal! <laughs> Bezal! <laughs> but that's better than a better than a witch elf dying. Better Bezal than a witch elf. <laughs> Yeah, except I didn't get to steal it, I uh, just scored the one turn. Yeah, I really fucked up with not protecting and doing this. Uh, this vanity passing has let him do. Well, he's blocked his path to get the others through there. <laughs> Glorious. I don't know why I assisted with him. He should have been the guy getting sacrificed. But instead this Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! And now he's going to have to hit somebody good. Which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Yeah. I'm caught on that this works. <laughs> Two more passes and we've got a level.
<laughs> Silly kids lives. <laughs> Failing their three pluses. Glorious. Do you know what? I love it. I love it when bloody uh, kids lives fail their fucking three pluses. They're a right fucking pain in the ass when they don't. But when they do fail them, they're pretty fun to play against. Yeah, they beat me earlier in the season. No, <laughs> oh, he's power up old. He's gone for the power up old boy. J'ai l'impression qu'il a l'air un peu sonné. Hopefully, defend the ball well enough without uh, stopping us doing the vanity passing. <laughs> Bit of a shame to be on the old uh, edge five for a turn in case he bolts, but never mind. Yeah, he did have a second that ball, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he will bolt, but um, it's just <laughs> I really don't want the edge five bolting when I could have a rookie bolting. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I think it would be a bad decision for him to bolt, but um, that hasn't stopped opponents before. <laughs> I'm not calling him a shitter at all. I mean, he beat me earlier this season. He's, he's, you know, he knows how to play. RTSD. He was in the. He did quite well in the World Cup, didn't he? F. Wrong player. Yeah, he didn't hit with the. Uh, with the Palmer. And he didn't get a Kaz, so that's surprising, isn't it? Normally people would have Kazed anyway. He would have got a KO if he'd used uh, that, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Burning Buffoon's a shitter. RTSD's good, yeah. He, he did well in the World Cup, didn't he? Like, I think he got the quarts or something. And I played it before in... Uh, in OFL and yeah he knows how to play. Yeah two levels and then I guess the team is pretty amazing. I hope I hope nobody nobody dies. <laughs> is this a is this a catcher? Oh Ooh, there's a catch at the blitz. Well isn't that interesting? What I really want to do is do the pass with him so that he's assisting the block. <laughs> That's really a bit greedy. <laughs> Je 
me chanterai des semaines pour réussir à me relever de cette manière. Mais la gravité était trop forte pour moi. Non. <laughs> plim plom plou. Plim plom plou's away. Ah, oh, fucking wrestle. Wrestle's really shit sometimes, isn't it? I mean, you can't score off this. <laughs> Wee! Ah, oh, failed! <laughs> Never lucky! Never lucky! <laughs> Unluckiest coach on earth. Two cars this house, very nice, isn't it? And the KO to use one of his apples. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's only got nine men. Versus ten, I think. Yeah, so one man advantage. Not terrible. Yeah, if I get the chance, Gould a cat. Mostly I just want to make his wizard not so good. Well, like he wants to win, right? So, I th you know, if he comes towards me and tries to make something happen, then I can scoot off. But until then, and there's no need trying to do anything. If I don't have to, you know, no need to expose the ball to uh, rampant leapers. No, that was all right. I don't care about him getting the SVP. If it was the other one doing the pass, I would have done. If it had been the 15 guy passing to the, to the Adj 5, I would have re-rolled it to get the SPPs, but... I don't care about him getting the one SPP. <laughs> I might give up the draw. I don't care about the result killing from me, because I'm going to do whatever... whatever keeps my players safest and gets me the most SPPs. Now you do get three SPPs for a touchdown. So... I'll score if I can. You know, I, I tried to score in, in the other games that I drew. I tried to win the other two games that I drew with this, you know, from here. We'll see what happens. Ah, got to deliver the ball to him perfectly. Alright, where is his killer here? Not really touchable. Um, oh, fuck, I've just seen this guy. <laughs> Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. Yes, Krakatoa kid. Oh, so I wasted a player there. That's a shame. Oh, 
No, <laughs> cause it's a fucking one. Alright, I can't really complain if I fail either of these now. Fuck! I mean, I still will. <laughs> Obviously. Fuck's sake. But if I hadn't moved him up there for no reason, he could have been here and then this guy could have been there and safe, couldn't he? So I had to... That was a bit of a mistake, exposing him, just because I, I was just going to blitz him and then I realised I could hit his strength 4 Aquila, which was a bit of a... bit of a good player to hit, wasn't he? Good, didn't kill him. Yeah, always defence versus rats. To minimise the chance of them having a one turn attempt. Well, minimise their one turn chances. You know, they might always have an attempt, but by by kicking you you know, it gives you the longest time to uh Oh that was that was a blood bowl question. Yeah, I don't like Norse. Oh and that was a blood bowl question from Calcium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, total cunts, Cas. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like this is gonna fuck me that not thinking about him. Has he got juggernaut or something? Oh, I haven't got sidestep on him. Dickhead. So it was the wrong one in the wrong spot as well. Brilliant. He can get the ball in no tackle zones. Did you get royalties? You paid royalties, didn't you, with the uh, thing? Sorry, I just didn't see that it was a it was a redemption. I often don't see those because I'm not used to using Stream Manager. Um, no, it doesn't matter at all to swim. No, it doesn't matter at all. It's just that I would get a few more SPPs if I... Well, particularly with him, right? He would get a fucking other completion. I really wanted to get the completion on him. Um, that's what I'm most sad about is him not getting the completion um, because <laughs> best team it's got to be wood elves hasn't it wood elves i would say overall wood elves are the best team hard to argue against wood elves being the best team in blood bowl Pretty much every format, every TV range, Woody's are the best. So, Woody's. To answer your question, Chorf's the best for CCL. Chorf's the best for CCL. Chaos and Nurgle are best for like long term leagues. Um, I didn't take jump up, but the person before me did, and I wish he didn't, because then I would have tackle on my killer, and I could kill his killer with my killer with tackle. But, um, he didn't. Never kill Metronics. Why Chaos best for CCL? Because they're alright in ladder. I mean, well, they're still good in ladder. They're good in ladder because they're good early, good late. Uh, those, they fall off a little bit late. They're still good late. Um, and... And they're, they're good in the playoffs. That's the key thing. Is that they're good in the playoffs. Um, which is obviously... Where you would like your guys to be the best. Congrats.
Oh, of course he failed the last fucking roll! Man! <laughs> oh, that's a G5 by mistake. <laughs> Sorry, Kilmatronics. <laughs> yeah, so the playoffs, the playoffs in CCL, because there's a wide range of uh, of teams in the playoffs. Um, you know, like it, the all the elf teams and everything, um, and Bretts and all those kind of teams. You know, Chofs handle all those very well, don't they? With uh, all the tackle, and they handle losses very well as well. A rookie Chof blocker. Um, against a high TV elf team is still really good. A rookie beastman against a high TV elf team is shit. <laughs> so, I think humans are pretty shit to swim. <laughs> pretty shit. They're alright at low TV. Um, they're alright at low TV, but. <laughs> yeah, exactly, BZL, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Humans are kind of good at low TV, so, so like, you know, in certain formats, like the World Cup, when they get boosts as well as being alright at low TV, then, then they're really good. Which is why... <laughs> yeah, when Nurgle are actually good, high elves are theoretically good. Threaten the punch backs if he uh, if he tangles. Do you remember that J Law? You want to tangle? We tangled. I remember that. <laughs> if he wants to tangle, he's going to get palmed. I did want to win that. It was just the two failed passes in 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 succession. Really, if if uh, it would have been one less dice roll, wouldn't it? If I hadn't failed the turn before, then uh, that pass would have worked. And uh, you know, he might he might have still done it. It was the misposition of the wrestle, wasn't it? In changing targets on the blitz, I probably shouldn't have done that because that took two players away from defending the ball. So really, I kind of threw it threw it away by going for his rackler, string four rackler. But I don't care. No, Kislev, high TV Kislev, a pretty bad matchup for elves in general because of the you know they've got the diving tackle, which uh, the t having four diving tackle doesn't really concern chaos, but um, having four diving tackle as elves can be a pain in the asshole for sure. GG. Um, yeah, that was it. It was a changing of the. Uh... <laughs> It was just, uh, yeah, it was just the, um, all the stand firm they can get. <laughs> um, it was the switching targets to strength for Rackler, that was the thing, I, I just saw him too late. And then uh, I just thought, ooh, I can punch him. So, like, I was going to just p punch the nearest one and use those two blitzers to defend the ball, which mightn't have worked against the Strength 4 Rackler, right? So when I saw the Strength 4 Rackler, even though I'd moved the the wrestle line on first, I wanted to hit him. Whereas if I hadn't changed my plan, um, then I'd have had two more players in the in the zone there to defend the ball and maybe would have maybe would have won, but don't care, so <laughs> it's alright, isn't it? <laughs> oh you got the MVP anyway as well as getting that completion, so there you go. Four passes and a touchdown, that's alright, isn't it? That's seven SPPs. And then, uh, oh, I got more anyway because uh, because I got the cards, didn't have two cards from him. So what's that? Nine, 16 SPPs, and he got uh, 15. So, got more SPPs than him, despite losing to him. 
<laughs> nobody died, nobody got missed next game. So, that, you know, the loss just doesn't matter at all. So really that went about as well as it could have gone. A bit of a, bit of a like lame, lame duck of a match, but there you go. At least something happened. The one turn was nice, wasn't it? One turn through perfect defence was nice. And at least it was obvious what I did wrong on that turn when he got the ball. So... Probably just go block on this guy now. I guess could go wrestle for a Saka type. Right? Could, he could dodge in with add 5 and wrestle. To do that. So... There you go, 2000 TV, ready for the playoffs ish. <laughs> ish. It's 2000 TV Dark Elf team. That's pretty good, 13 players. Shame not to get that level, but, uh, you know, marginally a shame to lose, but it doesn't really matter. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.